This brief segment will show you and tell you how to operate the Ripley Remote Mid-Span Stripper. Before using the RMS, get familiar with all its operating features and check for any damage. Then, you're ready to start. Step 1. First, determine the bushing needed by using the cable gauge and the hot stick. Push the gauge on the cable. The cable should go halfway down the gauge. If the cable won't go onto the gauge, the bushing is undersized and should not be used. If the cable drops fully into the gauge, the bushing is oversized and should not be used. Step 2. Choose the bushing with a number that matches the cable gauge and insert the bushing into the tool. Using a hot stick, secure the stop clamp tightly on the cable to be stripped, approximately 4.5 inches to the left of where you want the strip to begin. The stop clamp is placed over the front of the cable. Be sure there's enough space to the left of the tool stop to accommodate the desired strip length. Leave the shotgun attached to the stop clamp. Turn the handle on the RMS counterclockwise to open the tool. Placing the head of the tool onto the conductor against the tool stop, then pushing up on the tool slightly, see the cable in the lower half of the jaw. Begin turning the handle clockwise, closing the bushing around the cable until it's fully closed. An audible click will be heard. Continue turning the tool handle clockwise to start the stripping operation. The tool will remove a 5 16 wide chip of insulation from the conductor. Continue turning the tool until the insulation chip breaks away and the conductor is visible. Move the stop clamp a distance away from the RMS tool equal to the desired strip length. Turn the handle clockwise while applying pressure on the tool in the direction of the strip. The tool will strip more insulation and begin to self-feed after one turn. When a smooth stripping action is created for 1 to 1.5 revolutions, you can remove the tool handle, insert the drill adapter into the drill, and attach to the RMS tool. Do not use an impact tool. When using the drill, don't fight the tool movement. Let the tool follow the cable. The tool will not always be 90 degrees from the line because it will follow the cable sag. Continue stripping the cable until the forward motion stops and the chips fall away. Remove the drill and replace the handle. Turn the handle counterclockwise to open the tool and remove the tool from the line. At this point, using the hot stick, remove the stop clamp. Now your strip is complete and you can apply your tap. That's a quick course in operating the Ripley Remote Mid-Span Stripper. If you have any further questions, contact your Ripley Field Rep by calling 800-528-8665 or go to ripley-tools.com.